What's up guys and welcome back to another video Sky here and today we are once again showcasing Passat Hook for CS2 as it got updated and to be honest it's still my go-to free cheat for CS2, it's external, it's safe and um, it has pretty nice features and it has many more features than other cheats I've seen uh, free. So without further ado, let's get right into the video, please subscribe and leave a like as always and make sure to join the discord server because uh, we are doing almost weekly giveaways, actually I think weekly for now, for the past couple of weeks we've done a giveaway every week, we give out uh, paid CS2 cheats and more, so make sure to join that. And without further ado, let's get right on with our video. So first link in the description, as always, you will have my website skymos.org with the download to Passat Hook. All you have to do is click the download button. It might open you a pop-out ad like this. Make sure you don't download anything from the pop-out ad. Make sure you close it and click download again until you are redirected to Boosteller. Here you're gonna have to do a few steps like subscribe, download an extension and accept notifications. This will take you at most 30 seconds and after that you're gonna be presented with the direct download to Passat. So this is not gonna take you long, get over this and you're gonna have the file. The file will be an exe file like this, passathook.exe. As I told you this is an external cheat so I'll show you what you have to do in order to run this, but this will come as an exe file, not as in DLL or something like that. All right, first things first, to not have any issues, I'd say, I recommend to disable the antivirus by going to virus and threat protection settings right here and disabling real-time protection and the others if needed. I don't think they're needed, only real-time protection. Now, keep in mind this is not necessary, but um, it will help you not encounter some problems because you might you might get some errors if you have the antivirus on. Again, it's not a virus, it's not malware, I tell this every time, it just might be a false positive. Antivirus detects it as a virus because it um, changes the game's memory, it reads and writes the game's memory in real time. There are things considered malicious they're not malicious but you know so i recommend you disable the antivirus now after you've disabled your antivirus launch your cs2 and if you want only to test this you can launch it with dash insecure flag like i'm doing right now i cannot join any vac secure servers and once you're on cs2 make sure you go to the settings menu go to video and here in the main tab of video make sure you have your display mode set to full screen windowed because being an external cheat it has an external overlay it's not injected to the game so in full screen the overlay cannot appear on top of the game so make sure you have it on full screen windowed after you have done that there's really not anything you need to do what you are going to do is open Passat Hook as administrator, it should open by itself as an administrator. And after you see that console and you see these things here, CS2 is out of focus because it is. But if you open CS2, we have it here, Passat Hook. We have the same UI, uh, so in the new version the UI did not change much. But we have some new things and a few things have been fixed. So, first of all, let's make it purple. Oh, I love purple. Make sure to join the Discord server for updates and stuff. The creator of Passat Hook is Romanian. And I want to clear things out again. The cheats I showcase on my channel are not made by me. Neither is Passat Hook. So I did not make Passat Hook. There's a very cool Romanian guy who did it. So you have the credits here if you want to join his Discord server. But without further ado, you have the insert key to display and not display the menu and let's load into a map and give you a little showcase guys also let me know if you want to see some videos playing with this in matches because i really i really thought i could make some i could make some videos in the match with this so play maybe some premiere or who knows all right so first things first we're gonna go let me make my view model fov a bit Oh, seems like it's already 88. 
all right so what we have here we have legit bot we have a grenade helper which is such a nice addition for a free cheat you don't usually see it we have visuals on the players and on the world and we have some main options and some config you can save your config obviously uh, very very helpful but let's start from the beginning we have aimbot here so we can enable the aimbot we can ignore the teammates uh, we can also have this prediction which i'm going to disable for now and the priority is going to be the closest you can choose by health or by crosser position which one is the closest to the crosser but we're going to put distance we can also draw the fov and so we can see how the fov how big the fov is we have aimbot keybind which we can set to um always and not have any any key bind i think that's the that's the way of doing but let's put the key bind to mouse one and let's go i think always it goes to the body so let's go the fov bigger aiming aiming type static hitbox head no smoothness no recoil control we can have a trigger bot Let's go here to hold. Here we go. All right. So now it's working. And also the trigger bot, which I think the trigger bot is not working, but that's all right. And uh, this is uh, this is the legit bot. Obviously, if you want to play legit, make sure you have it down to like a 2.04 or something so uh, don't make it ridiculously big but we're gonna disable it for now what we're gonna do is go to the grenade helper and i want to show you a few things here and i'm hoping it works we don't need the nade bot which is the auto aim oh I, I think i cannot purchase grenades let's see if i can give myself one uh, give explosive grenade no i can't all right Never mind with the grenade helper, it's not of use right now anyways. Now we have ESPs, we can enable ESPs and we can enable these off screen and these circles to show you the approximate position if you want to play very legit. And here you can also have keybinds for the ESP and you can have the preview here and you can have player name, you can have weapon name, icons, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of information about them. We can have sound DSP, which are the circles I told you about. And yeah, that's it for now. I see you have info, so you can see them. I'm not sure where the chums are, or if there are any chums. I'm not sure what happened this update with them. So the arrows are the off screen, I guess. We have world here where you can modify our fov now i can't use this feature because of my windows version you will most likely can you have movement rail you have a taser range which shows you the range of the taser well if you have a taser equipped you have world modulation and color correction and i can adjust the color here of my world I'm not gonna touch that for now we can also see dropped items projectiles c4 etc so you should use that and bullet tracers which oh yeah so there are the bullet tracers again i really wish we could have used the fov i could have showed you the fov but i cannot do it my version you can also have oh here they are the boxes bounding box and skeleton all right here we go so we have we do have um wall hack we do have esp but he he moved things around a bit so i guess that's that then we're gonna have main here we have things like the velocity graph which is quite interesting for b hoppers i guess and i'm not sure how to tell it parkours and shit we also have the Spotify add-on, the watermark, you can disable or enable the watermark. We can have the FPS of the overlay, so not the game, the overlay. 
we can have the capture proof here if i turn this on you will not see the wall hack and anything else on my obs we also have safe mode which if you were to disable it will have more features now again i cannot disable it due to my windows version because i haven't updated it in a while but uh, that's not going to be an issue for you and you also have the discord rpc if you want people to see or not that you're playing with passat we also have the keybinds list here it's going to show you what keybinds you have active which one you hold and stuff like that you have the spectators list to see who spectates you in game you have yeah and uh, that's kind of all and you also have configs here you can open the config directory which i can see here is in local disk c and you can also save a new config let's say main and we can create the config here we can save it and we can load it so this is Passat, it's an interesting cheat, what I like about it the most is that uh, it's stable. So you can play with it without issues, it's stable, it's easy to use and it's undetected. With trusted features on. If you go untrusted, you might get a VAC live, I'm not sure, it depends. But um, if you go trusted, you won't have any issues. It's an external cheat and most likely everything will be well. Again. There's always a risk on playing with cheats, so be careful, but um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to join the Discord server. As I said in the beginning, we do weekly giveaways and you can win some pretty crazy CS2 cheats. So you can see how it's like to play with paid cheats. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. You are amazing if you got it to the end and I'll see you guys in the next video.